Hi guys, today I'm just going to do a quick review on two of the rods I was using for a lot of, last summer certainly, um, sorry, well up to the back end of the year to be fair. Um, as any of you that know me know, I started LRF fishing, um, also got my last Kirsty into fishing, so I went out and bought a couple of LRF rods. Now I'm going to do a quick review on them. The first rod is it's the Namura Akira. Now, it's a seven foot rod, it's got a Fuji reel seat, although the eyes I don't believe are Fuji. Now, I don't know if you can you can see that, but the um, the whipping on it, you know, it's, it's, it's a beautiful looking rod. But the only thing that does let it down is the eyes. Now, this rod's got a fast action, it's quite a fast action on it, it's, it's quite stiff. Um, which is ideal really for what I want it for. We fished over, the me and a mate of mine Scott fished over in the model last October and we was getting Coley and Pollock up to sort of three and a half, maybe four pound on it. We was reeling them up the side of a cliff about 15 foot and the rod was coping absolutely fine with it. I was also casting, no, oh yeah, sorry, the, um, the casting weight on it's up to 10 grams. Um, it's two piece and the casting weight's up to 10 grams. We was over in the mull and I was actually casting 24 gram Savage Gear eels with it and it was coping absolutely fine. I think the only thing that does let that rod down is the eyes. Um, I don't know if you can see that, that eye there. The ceramic popped out of that within a week of me having it. I should have taken it back to be fair but I thought well it's one eye, um, I'll just get it replaced and I never got around to doing it. The rest of the eyes at the moment are are pretty good to be fair. They're not um, they're not broke or anything. They're just very discoloured and they've just started to corrode slightly. Now the other rod is a lot cheaper to buy, and it's the Shakespeare Agility. Now there's not much I can say about this rod really to be fair, it's two piece, it's seven foot the same as the other one, the casting weight is um, five, to, five to fifteen grams. So you'd think it would be pretty much similar to the Namura, but it's not. It says it's a fast action, it's not a fast action, it's more of a medium action, it is quite floppy. That said, the eyes on this, again I don't know if you can see that, the eyes are brilliant. They're much, much better than the Namura. Much better. Um, I don't think it looks as nice as the Namura, and the action on it certainly isn't as nice. But for the money, it's it's a very good and capable rod. I bought this, as I said, I bought this to get my last into fishing. Um, I took her up to a local mark uh, up north, Beadnell, and. She had a Pollock four and a half pound on it, and she, it was the first time she'd been fishing properly. Um, as you can imagine, she was over the moon, and I was gutted because, you know, she'd, she'd had a bigger fish than me. But the rod coped it fine. You know, it was, it's, it's, it's a nice, um, it's a nice lot like blank. Again, it's not quite as light as the Namura, but the Namura is twice the price. Um, but for the money, it's a brilliant rod. One of the good things about the, um, the Shakespeare Agility. Now, with this being the seven foot version, they do a six foot ten and a seven foot version, I think. But the six, uh, the seven foot version, it's got interchangeable tips. Now, you could quite easily, if you wanted to, put a um, a lighter tip on that or a heavier tip if you wanted to get a tip from a, a feeder rod or you know a ledger rod that you'd use for course fishing. Chances are, it, you could make it fit, even if it took a little bit of sanding, it, it would fit. The six foot ten version hasn't got. An interchangeable tip. It's uh, I think I believe it's a splice tip, so it's, it's fixed. But it is this rod is a lot lot softer than the Namura. The reels we've been using with them, to be fair, I got our last a little die with Sweetfire three thousand size. Um, three thousand is probably a little bit big, really, for for LRF fishing. But I thought, well, I'd, I'd, I'd get at that because they were reasonably priced. I think they were only about twenty or twenty five quid. Um, and it, it's a diet, so the build quality is pretty good on That's what she uses. And what I use 
it's just a cheap Chinese, I think it's a, what's it called? Um, a spin focus, I don't know if you can see that. A spin focus. And it's cheap and it's Chinese, but it works absolute wonders for what I want it for. It's absolutely spot on. Now, the Nomura retail at around 50 quid. A little bit more, a little bit less. They're around 50 quid. The Shakespeare are, as I said, are half the price. They're about 25. As I said, I do think the build quality on the Shakespeare is better. I don't think the blank is better. I think the Nomura has a, a much, much nicer action, but again, it's twice the price. If I was going to get anybody into LRF, or I was going to suggest to anybody to start LRF fishing, I would definitely suggest trying or buying the Shakespeare, purely because it's cheap, and the, for the money, the, the brilliant little rods. Out of the two, I mean, I do use the Nomura because I, I, I prefer the faster action, um, but I probably wouldn't buy another. Not, well, not one of those ones anyway, because I've just, the eye popped out on it and the eyes are starting to pit and corrode quite badly, to be fair. Um, whereas on the Shakespeare, they're not. I'd probably look for something else. There's any amount of different different um, LRF rods out there that you can use. Um, H, uh, is it HTO? Uh, Sonic, Sonic have brought some out. Um, Daiwa, Akios, uh, not Akios, Akuma even. There's loads and loads of different ones. Um, I do think Shakespeare are pretty much as cheap as you're going to get, and for the money, definitely worth a look. Anyway, there will be some, when, when the weather, I mean it's snowing outside at the moment, but when, when the weather changes and it does get warmer, we will be out LRF fishing and we'll show you the setup in action. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you like the videos, and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Thanks very much.